Oh man, the Black Lotus too? Oh my gosh. No way. Big sail twist. Oh, there it is, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I hit him. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> So uh, a couple little progress updates we've made so far. Uh, so far with the uh, Hydraxian reputation, we've got up to the Molten Core quest. So once I'm able to get back in there, probably tonight, I'm going to be able to finish that quest off. Oh yeah. Other than that, we've got our reputation up with the Hydraxians to Honored, which is pretty, pretty bad. But I've been working on my, my uh, AV rep that's exalted now. Which gave us the Don Julio ban, the best in slot rings, or pre best in slot ring anyway. And then we got our um, Argent Don rep up there as well, which allows us to obtain a couple cool, pretty cool items here. It's going to be the Blessed Sun Fruit, which I'm going to be grabbing a couple of those. That gives 10 strength. Um, if you're a healer, you might want the, the juice. Gives you a 12 spirit. Um, but then it also gives us access to the quest here from Miranda, where we are allowed to get the magic resistant mantles there. So it's like an enchant for your shoulders. So now I've been doing a lot of skinning. Uh, 270 out of 300 there so far, just for today. It's pretty good. I was really going for 300, but yeah, I don't think we're going to squeeze it in by the end of the night. Uh, but yeah, we also expanded our bag slots out here, so that's feeling good. And then, uh, oh yeah, put our fire resistor on. We've got fire resistor shoulders in the back now, so we're sitting good at 97 fire resist for uh, heat level 2. Without having to change any of my gear out. So we're solid. Looking good. There we go. Just hit 290 skinning. Boom. There it is. 300 skinning. It's in 24 hours. Pretty easy, actually. Alright, so I just bought some Wild Heart gloves to sell in the auction houses. They sell for 65 gold. Let's see if we get that. Uh, we also got some damage to undermine supply crates here. Um, they actually have a chance to drop the Tome of Resilience. Which is like, uh, I think it's 60, 50 or 60 gold right now as well. And these only cost five reals. So that could be some good money. Um, we'll see what we get here. Uh, not bad, I guess. It's like two and a half gold. Oh my gosh. We got a tome of resilience out of the supply crate. No way. That's crazy. Oh, and then. 20 ice caps that's like five gold or that's like two gold two-ish gold um oh man the black lotus too oh my gosh no way we just made at the very least 60 gold here <laughs> i'm not i'm not too upset i'm really not too upset just made like 120 gold if all this sells so there you go Quick gold making guy in 2014. Um, another thing I'd like to check that some people will actually come here, they'll buy, like immediately buy the gloves and then put them on here. Uh, maybe because they overpriced on um, the other faction. We've got a lot of horde on the server, a lot of horde and alliance. The mixture is 50 50. Pretty close, anyways. But um, I did come here once and there was a set of paladin gloves, the, the light forge or whatever it's called. Um, they're only on here for like five or ten gold, so I snatched those up and sold them for like 40 gold. Quick little turnover. So, I always check this guy out if you're down here. Check the auctions. Um, even weapons too. Look, that's selling for 350. It's going for 400, 500 on our auction house, so. Uh, <laughs> you could make that money move if you wanted to, but I don't know if I'm going to. I don't have the money for it anyway, but... <laughs> Uh, I was literally just about to hurt out of here because I couldn't find the stupid book. I've been here forever looking for this thing. Oh my gosh, we actually got it. We could continue the quest. Look, I got a piece of gear. 
There it is. We got up to uh, Revered, Hydraxian Water Lords. So now we get our uh, Eternal uh, Douse, I guess. I call it a Quintessent, but it's a Douse. Which is also really nice if I ever need to come back here. I mean, we got the Beacon of Hydraxian now, which is kind of cool because it fits in your key slot. Let's see if we're doing the nerds to kill. Oh. Let's see the person doing this stuff. Nobody. We actually found somebody, but it looks like he's AFK. Look at this guy, he's just running away. He's scared. He's running. Oh god, no way. I think I hit him for 1%. Oh, I hit him! <laughs> Oh no! <laughs> we got PvP turned off. Decided to come out and play. Man, this guy's tanky, huh? <laughs> He's like, why can't I kill him? <laughs> Big sale twist. Oh, there it is, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Basically forced into doing the blood moon because I flew down here during the blood moon and apparently the flight master becomes... Hostile? So you can attack him? <laughs> Which is funny, but uh Yeah, maybe uh maybe they should fix that. I don't know. <laughs> Your hair sun cool then, you can't go anywhere. Guess you could uh, buy a summon, but you know, guess you might have to change that. Honestly, getting the Insufferable Force has been pretty huge. Should have bought it a long time ago. Uh, but yeah, if you're a Paladin, for sure you're going to get a weapon that's any good. Uh, if you get your AV rep up to Exalted, get you a nice little two-handed mace. And throw a counterweight on it. The thing hits pretty hard. It's way nice. And then the, the only thing I need to work on for the grade is saving up money for the Devil Core stuff. You can buy it right now, but I don't need it right now. And by the time I need it, the price should be way down and save myself some money. Because either of these really aren't a huge increase to my DPS. So, that's whatever once I get. My other piece is going. I just built that set out. Uh, the only other thing I need is those other uh, enchants from the Libram of Resilience, I think it's called. Yeah, really don't need much else. Just, uh, just need some tier gear to drop and a nice weapon. I'd like Typhoon, but... These big weapons are kind of growing on me now. Even though, like, you don't have to seal to us, I just be, I still just be spamming exorcism. Because <laughs> that thing, it could just goes off like crazy. And then, for those of you wondering, uh, for raid, anyways, this is the build that I'm running. Pretty standard build here. Three precision, so I do have 8% total hit, so I never miss. And then we're running Wrath, Divine Storm, She. This one's really just a pennant. I'm usually always running Inspiration or Rebuke. I don't really hurt they ever use that order mastery. Probably get more DPS, but Inspiration, Exemplar, and Rebuke are just too good to pass up, being useful in raid. Of course, our war. 
Purifying power is huge. Um, I didn't realize how good it was. I was just using improved hammer wrath the whole time. This just makes exorcism spam like crazy. Like you, it doubles your DPS. Crusader strike. And then I use holy specialization, defense specialization since I'm a human. I already get the uh, plus skill to maces, and swords. And then of course, righteous vengeance. Yeah, use an unstoppable force. Other than that, it's not too much else. Yeah, appreciate you guys watching. Have a good one.